Deputy Prime Minister Teo Chihen says integrity and empathy are key to making a good public service. Mr. Teo, who is also Minister in charge of the civil service, said the work of public officers can only succeed if it is built on trust. He added diversity is important in public service and that's why efforts have been made to recruit people with different backgrounds, skills and experiences. Mr. Teo was addressing some 90 recipients of the prestigious Public Service Commission scholarship today at an award ceremony. Dylan Lowe with more. Jeremy Xiao's a filmmaker at heart and has translated his passion into founding a small non-profit production house called Memory. The 19-year-old Public Service Commission scholar holding an overseas merit scholarship will now channel his creative energies into contributing to Singapore civil service. He will study physics at Imperial College London and hopes to eventually serve in the Home Affairs Ministry and help beef up the country's security. Singapore is uh, really a really safe country uh, as of status quo, but uh, something that we cannot be complacent in because the threats are growing. While Jeremy will be heading to the United Kingdom for further studies, other scholarship recipients will be heading to countries like the United States, China and Japan. Of course, there will be those who will be pursuing their degree programs in Singapore as well. Giving out the scholarships, Deputy Prime Minister Teo Chi Hien said Singapore's public service has built up a strong reputation with determination and hard work over the decades. He urged all public officers to maintain a high standard of personal conduct to uphold the civil service's integrity and public confidence in it. There have been some cases involving even senior public officers which have put the integrity of the public service in the spotlight. The service does not tolerate any form of corruption, misconduct or wrongdoing. From time to time, there may be individual failings. But we will uphold the integrity of the public service by upholding the law and bringing wrongdoers to justice. And we will do so without fear or favour. He also urged the scholars to conduct themselves honourably and not to betray the trust that Singaporeans have placed in them as public officers.